and a warm welcome to the audience. So today we're going to have a debate entitled uh, Is it ethical for a person, especially an engineer to work in a tobacco company? So as we know, statistically, uh, smoking can cause uh, respiratory problem, heart disease and many more. And also, it uh, provides data that nearly 5 million deaths uh, per year and it will increase to 8 million annually. Despite the disadvantages uh, in smoking and also this uh, tobacco company, it also provides uh, advantages such as uh, uh, it provides jobs for the people. Second, it uh, provides uh, revenue to the country by having in, by implying taxes and also uh, sponsorship. So today we're gonna have our uh, debaters, uh, two from the uh, government side and also two from the opposition side. So from the uh, government side, we have uh, Muhammad Zakri as the first speaker, and the second speaker. Uh, Abu Bakar and from the opposition side we have uh, first speaker Muhammad Fami and also the second speaker Muhammad Shafi Izuddin and now let's begin with the first speaker to start his uh, argument Thank you Haris Nuddin Okay now I will start with my debate Hello ladies and gentlemen Nowadays the tobacco industry has been considered as a global industry. This industry growing the plant, processing the tobacco, shipping and transportation, also distribution widely around the world. Tobacco refers to various plants that commonly be used for smoking in pulp, cigar and cigarette. Based on an article published by A. Olomon Tuba titled Revenue of the Tobacco Product Market Worldwide by Country 2019, the global tobacco market value was valued to be around 850 billion US dollars in just year 2019, which led by China around 232 billion US dollars. So, today I'm going to ask all of you that it is ethical for a person to work as an engineer in tobacco company because tobacco company has so much benefit and reason for an engineer to offer their service. First of all, tobacco industry employs around 100 million workers globally. As an engineer, uh, it is stated an article titled What Future for Tobacco Job? that tobacco industry is one of the industries that for high salary for their engineer, unlike some other industry whose engineer is underpaid. In 2018, a tobacco engineer in US make an average of 122,000 US dollars annually, while an average engineer only make around 100,000 US dollars annually. This fact proves that Engineers who work in this tobacco industry will eventually secure their financial stability. Sometimes, having ethical egoism and self-interest is good for an engineer to improve themselves. Next, improvement on technology and the quality of tobacco. An article published by International Labour Organization stated that in UK, 3% more tobacco were produced while using 75% less labour costs compared to the previous year. This proof that technology in this tobacco industry is improving it at an excellent rate. In addition, World Health Organization state in its report that a group of an engineer had proposed a project called Tobacco Tactic Harmful Reduction, which purpose is to reduce the toxic substance consumed by smokers during smoking. As a result, SNUS is great and better quality of tobacco were produced. As, as NUS is 
referred to a free toxic vape which contain the same nicotine as cigarette but with less toxicity. This fact is supported by a article which is by Patricia Richard titled Reducing Level of Toxic Chemical in Cigarette Smoke. This article stated that 10% less toxic chemical were found in cigarette smoke in 2010 compared to 2005. Furthermore, it is an engineer responsible to ensure that the tobacco produced by their company met the requirement of the regulation of food, of food Act of 1983 under the Tobacco Product Regulation 2015 preventing illicit tobacco trade. Also, one of the things that can be done by the engineer to protect their country uh, as well prevent the smokers from consuming illegal tobacco. In addition, it is reported in technical report by the World Bank Group 2015 that there is an increase of 42.5% tax and duty applied on tobacco products. The high tobacco price would reducing the number of smokers while the money could be used to develop the country. Other than that, tobacco engineers also have the influence to influence on the design of the filter use to reduce the number of smokers. This can be done by innovating the filter to further reducing the nicotine consumed by the smoker so that the nicotine potential is no longer a threat for an engineer to stop smoking. In addition, based on the work in data.org, Malaysia death rate caused by the smoke from reduced from 148 to 99 Debt per 100,000. Well, thanks to the engineer who worked hard and diligent following engineer's code of ethic. To be concluded, this reason made me strongly believe and convinced that it is ethical for an engineer to work in tobacco company. Avoidance is a good choice, but as an engineer, there is a better option to help and serve the society while working as a tobacco while working in a tobacco company. That is all from us. Thank you for lending us your ear. Okay. Thank you to Mr. Zakri Zak for that brilliant response. Now let's hear uh, from the opposition uh, side to respond to what the government had respond. Okay. As for my as for my point for the opposition side. Okay. Even with the high income to country. Smoking uh, is still leads to various disease and death. Uh, that is data is taken from WHO, where tobacco epidemic is one of the biggest public health threats that the world has ever faced. <clears throat> they have killing more people, uh, more than eight million people a year around the world. Uh, more than seven million of those deaths are result uh, of direct tobacco uh, use, while around 1.2 million are the non smoker which have been exposed to secondhand smoke. Over 80% of the 1.3 billion tobacco users worldwide live in low and middle income countries, where the burden of tobacco related illness and the debt is the heaviest. There actually is no safe level of exposure to secondhand tobacco smoke, which have causes more than 1.2 million premature deaths per year and serious cardiovascular and respiratory disease. And almost half of children regularly breathe air, air polluted by tobacco smoke in public places. Uh, and 65,000 die each year from illness attributed to secondhand smoke. Uh, as for the infants or baby, it raises the risk of sudden infant death syndrome. And for the pregnant woman, it causes pregnancy, complication and low birth weight. Okay, and despite uh, tobacco company provide high income, there is also some losses from other income as well. Uh, from Washington, Federal Trade Commission, 
uh, around 2019, the tobacco industry spends billions of dollars each year on cigarettes and smokeless tobacco, on advertising, on promotion. 9.6 billion was spent on 9.06 billion was spent on advertising and promotion of cigarette and smoke tobacco combined for about 25 million every day and more than 1 million every hour. For smoking cost in the United States, it cost of smoking is more than is more than 300 billion a year. This includes 17 billion in direct me medical care of adults and more than 156 billion in lost producti productivity due to premature death and exposure to secondhand smoke. According to World Health Organization, uh, tobacco is used contrib contribute to poverty by diverting household spending from basic needs such as food and shelter uh, in order to buy tobacco and cigarettes. In some countries, children from pure household are employed in tobacco farming to boost their family income. Uh, and then there is less future if the children are dying at young age because of tobacco and secret. Okay, that's all point from me. Back to Harris Nuruddin. Thank you, Mr. Shafiq Izuddin for that response. Now, uh, we will have a counter argument uh, from Mr. Fahmi that will answer the statement state by Mr. Muhammad Zakri. Let's hear from the opposition side. Okay, so I will counter the points. Okay, as tobacco, uh, tobacco, uh, as Mr. Zakri has said, uh, the engineers are doing new things to 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 less the risk of smoking and cigarettes. Uh, this leads to new invention of e-cigarettes such as vape and jewels. But from National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine from 2008, many young people who use e-cigarettes also smoke cigarettes. There is some evidence that young people who use e-cigarettes may be more likely to smoke cigarettes in the future. Some e-cigarettes level do not disclose that they contain nicotine and some e-cigarettes marketed as contain 0% nicotine have been found to contain nicotine and approximately two-thirds of jewel users aged around 15 to 24 do not know that jewels always contain nicotine. From the US Department of Health and Human Services, Service, nicotine can harm the devel developing adolescent's brain, the brain that are keep developing until the age of 25. Using nicotine in adolescents may also risk for future addiction to other drugs. Many youth also report using e-cigarettes because they are cu curious about uh, these products. Okay, next. Even though fewer men die from tobacco in Malaysia than on average in HDI countries, tobacco still kills 403 men every week according to the tobacco atlas. Atlas. It also harms the environment. Cigarette butts are the most commonly discarded pieces, pieces of the world, of the waste worldwide. The core of most cigarettes filters, the part that looks like a white cotton, it is a form of plastic called cellulose acetate. By itself, the cellulose acetate is very slow to degrade in our environment. As the cigarette butt is made of plastic, it will take approximately 18 months to 10 years for a cigarette filter to decompose. Uh, it is estimated that 4,833 tons of butts and packs went up as toxic trash in Malaysia each year. This is roughly equivalent to the weight of 967 endangered African elephants. For the record, for the record, Cigarette-induced fires claim hundreds of lives in the USA each year, not to mention the millions of dollars that go up in the smoke in property damage. Okay, I will pass back to Harith. Thank you, Mr. Fahmi, for that counter-argument to the government. So now, let's we move to Mr. Abu to counter back what was uh, said and respond by Mr. Fahmi. 
uh, let's proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Harris Nordin. Um, okay, so uh, Assalamualaikum and a good day to our fair judges, respected moderators, and to the honourable members of the opposing team. So my name is Abu Bakar, and here I am as the government side defending that it is ethical for a person to work at a tobacco company and proving that the opposition team as to why your point are not relevant and strong enough to persuade the judges and the audience. So regarding what uh, uh, Shafiq, Mr. Shafiq said about uh, tobacco company paying the uh, advertisement companies for the promotional programs and are uh, taking costs from other industries. Well, without the tobacco industry, it is without doubt that the advertising and promotional industries would lose one million dollar per year, one million dollar per year per hour, twenty five million dollar every day, and nine point zero six billion dollar. A year. So advertising companies offer job opportunities to the people and also offers high income to the employees. So the statistics from the Statista revealed that the uh, tobacco industry paid a sin tax amounting to RM 3.9 billion to the government in 2017. And in the budget 2019, the government spent 28.7 billion ringgit on the Ministry of Health to provide better medical access to the hospitals, facilities and equipment. Not to mention that Mal hospitals in Malaysia was ranked first in the best healthcare in the world category of the 2019 International Living Annual Global Retirement Index. So Malaysia scored 95% for the award due to the affordability and the good service. So it is not a lie or it's not impossible to say that the tobacco industry might be one of the reasons why Malaysian healthcare was ranked the best in the world, taking into uh, the fact that they have their monetary tax and also have sponsorship and funds to the Malaysian government. So, uh, talking about uh, secondhand smoke, secondhand smoking. Okay, so in January 2019, there was a three meter restrictions were uh, imposed on all restaurant premises in Malaysia. So the government took a proactive uh, step. In this matter, so even public places uh, such as uh, malls, offices, gyms, ha have provided a designated uh, smoking area around the building for smokers to smoke. So, if the smokers, all smokers, were to obey this restriction, secondhand smoking is a minor issue or should not be an issue at all. So, it is uh, therefore said that the effect caused by secondhand smoking is actually due to the smoker's moral conscience and not on the tobacco industry. In fact, the tobacco company even go out of their way to label effects of smoking on the cigarette box, which usually creates bad impression to the product, but yet people still smoke. So therefore, the argument as to where secondhand smoking is uh, partly a, uh, the fault of the tobacco industry is not right. Next, regarding the uh, vape and jewel industry and the use of e-cigarettes in young adults, as Mr. Fahmi said, that it is becoming a problem to our young adults in Malaysia that they are starting to introduce themselves to the uh, e-cigarettes. Now, after the 2020 budget, the government stated that a proactive measure to fight illegal cigarette sales nationwide, and this was announced by the uh, by Tengku Zafrul Aziz, which is the Minister of Finance Malaysia, as the COVID-19 impacted the tobacco industry. So the sales of illegal cigarettes made the country lost 5 billion ringgit worth of tax revenue. So this shows that government relies on tax revenue on tobacco, and therefore the same can be said goes to the e-cigarette industry, where the flavor and the vape manufacturer will be imposed high taxes, strict laws, uh, considering the e-cigarette community is getting larger and larger by month. So what I'm trying to say here is that uh, although people, are, uh, younger people are starting to introduce themselves to these um, e-cigarettes, that means in the future there will be a law imposing that uh, e-cigarettes will be bad for health. So the ones who are consuming the e-cigarettes has the responsibility for themselves if they were to take that, that substance. So illegal flavor companies will be hunted by the government and established companies will be need to label their packages with warnings and ingredients contained in the flavor. It's because what Mr. Uh, Mr. Shafiq has told us that they are, there are no packaging or labeling on the on the uh, e-cigarettes uh, flavors. So I think this will be uh, taken into consideration in the future. So similar to smoking, sales of vape to underage individuals is illegal and is actually up to the seller's moral 
uh, conscience. So uh, that should not be a problem for underage uh, people. So regarding the secret buds being a rubbish and can cause environmental effect, uh, I believe this is not a point, a good point, because uh, although it is true that smokers throw their um, cigarette butts to the road or to the sides, but it is also a part of the engineer's uh, responsibility to make that uh, butts to become more environmental friendly. So the environmental conscience should be developed by the engineers and should be applied in work. So engineers and researchers should find a way to work together to make a higher quality filters and a biodegradable uh, cigarette butts. This way, cigarette butts can lessen the chemical effects to the smoker while being environmentally friendly. So I hope the fair judges, moderators and the members of the opposing team could reconsider my point of view. Thank you. Back to you, uh, Mr. Hari. Thank you, Mr. Abu, for that very lengthy and also brilliant responses. So, uh, it is a very uh, tough battle between both the government and the opposition. But uh, before that, we have to, uh, I have to conclude that uh, both parties have the ability to respond clearly and also uh, based on the topic itself. And uh, I want to state uh, a few uh, statements from both uh, opposition and the government. And the main thing is that it provides the revenue uh, for the country and also a huge profit that can uh, establish and build uh, facilities to be used in the country. That is uh, from the government side. And also, not to miss from the uh, opposition side, we hear that the basic and the essential thing uh, based on this uh, smoking uh, is that it can cause uh, numerous disease stated at by, by the WHO. And also the static itself shows a very large margin that can cause uh, uh, we as a human should avoid uh, smoking at all. And also uh, stated by the Mr. Fami from the opposition said that the e-cigarette uh, promotes addiction uh, by having that uh, a little amount of nicotine in the e -cig itself. So, uh, and also the cigarette butt uh, disposal, disposal that can cause uh, waste that take a, a long time for it to disappear and also uh, state by mr uh, the statement state by mr abu from the uh, government it's basically what uh, mr zakri said it uh, provide a huge revenue for the country because we need a huge revenue to generate our country to build and establish the development itself. So, uh, to answer back the motion of this debate, I, uh, in my opinion, is that we as an engineer, we will work and we, we will have an integrity because we follow the rules and we will not cause harm towards the environment. We, as a human itself, we have a virtue and the kindness to spread around the uh, surrounding towards the environment. So, as an engineer, we will always uh, follow and uh, abide the law and we will not uh, cause any harm toward the environment because we know that we learn every single ethics and the professionalism uh, in our studies before this and we will imply it to the environment. So, that's answer the, the motion of this debate and thank you. That's all from us.